2023 has wrapped up and yet another year of being a professional genealogist has come and gone. And how did I do this year? Well, I'm here to talk to you about it. I'm going to go into the frank details of how much money I made as a genealogist, what my clientele looked like, and why even though I made less money than I did last year, I'm not worried about it at all. So without further ado, my name is Yona Paley. I believe genealogy is fun and here's going to be a little breakdown of how much money I made as a genealogist in 2023. Now here's a little spreadsheet showing my income and expenses for 2023. I brought in $6,331.39 in total revenues. Roughly 5,900 of that was from research work for clients and 425 was from a couple of virtual speaking engagements I was hired to participate in. The most prominent of these was a lecture that I gave for the New York Genealogical and Biographical Society on the topic of Jewish gravestones in New York City. Now, I was very honored to be asked to speak by this society because they are the second oldest genealogical society in America. So this was kind of a big deal for me. And um, things didn't go necessarily as smoothly as I would have liked. I had pre-recorded the video, but I exported it as a wrong file format. So instead of it being aired, um, you know, in a pre-recorded fashion, I essentially had to give the lecture live at the last second. And given the hiccups like that, I think I did quite well with doing that. Um, but this is the first year as a genealogist that I've been asked to speak by any genealogical society. So um, that is a different type of revenue than I have been used to making. Of the other 5,900 that came from client work, 71% were individual clients who reached out to have stuff done on their own behalf and 29% were companies reaching out to have research done on a client's behalf. The jobs varied from basic family research to DNA analysis and also some people who were even trying to get citizenship for other countries. And I did about 27 projects for 14 different clients throughout the year, averaging roughly two projects per client. And half of those either had been or became repeat clients, which is actually a little bit better than the average of about 40% of clients that I've ever had who have become repeat clients. So this was very, very good year for repeat clientele, uh, people coming back, people who have already come back um, towards the beginning of the year. And so I would say 2023 has been a really, really good year for building a client base for me. But now here comes the seemingly scary data. Revenue was down around 35% year over year and gross profit was down about 41%. In 2022, gross profit was around $8,500, while in 2023, it was only around 5,000. Now, one thing I wanna focus on is some of this lower net profit comes down to the fact that I reinvested a lot of the money back into particularly equipment for the YouTube channel which is why my videos no longer look like this. This is just on one website alone. Now, I'm not actually related to all 171,000 of these people and look like this. So that was something that I think was a worthwhile investment, though as a result, my net profit fell by a lot more than my overall revenue. But Yona, you may be asking, 35% is a big decline in revenue. Aren't you worried? And the answer is an unequivocal no. You see, in 2022, I wasn't working for the majority of the year. Rather, I was bumming around countries like Thailand, Turkey, and Romania trying to be a digital nomad. And so I had a lot of free time on my hands. I was dedicating almost every spare hour to genealogy, making at least a video per week and also pursuing clients everywhere that I could. And so given the fact that I was desperately reliant on my genealogy work to pay my bills, well, there was a little bit of a, a pressure and a fire lit underneath me that while I still have to some degree, um, no longer is that intense. And before you start, you know, worrying, oh my God, Yona, 
isn't having a fire lit underneath you so important when trying to run a business and hopefully you know you haven't given up don't worry i have not given up the fact of the matter is is now that i'm back in the us of a i've been working a full-time 40 hour a week job and doing genealogy on the side as a side hustle and this has actually been really really great for me it's allowed me not to have to um, rely on my genealogy work to pay my bills, but it adds a nice little cherry on top to my financial goals. And so I feel like I'm kind of in the place with genealogy that I would like to be, which is continuing to do it, making a little bit of extra money on the side, doing something that I love, and also not having to worry about whether if it succeeds or fails, whether I'm going to be able to pay my bills. As a result of no longer needing the genealogy work as well, I've been able to be a little bit more selective with my clients. I have, yes, been able to raise my prices, though still keeping them very reasonable. And so as a result, I feel a lot more comfortable with the workflow. You know, it will get really busy every once in a while, and I'll have to buckle down and respond to all my clients and do a lot of work in addition to my full-time job but it never quite feels that it's overwhelming and that I've lost track of my time. And, you know, I'm very well aware of the fact that there is a potential future where something like that could happen, and I'll deal with it when it happens, but for now, I feel very, very comfortable with where I am as a genealogist, and I think it's a great side hustle. For somebody who has good research skills and enjoys doing it, you know, this is a nice way to make some extra money. Yes, you have to do a lot of research and you have to write a lot of reports, but if you have fun doing it the way that I do, well, it's a nice side hustle and I strongly recommend it. I really do believe now that I've gotten into a certain groove with the work, things have leveled off in a way that I feel comfortable with. I do think things are only gonna get slightly better from here out on. Um, for instance, January of this year has already been better than January of 2022 and 2023 combined, which from my very small sample size of years that I've been doing work, January has always been a dead month genealogy-wise. But things have been keeping pretty steady now that I have gained a decent client base and I'm able to continue pursuing individual projects and reaching out to clients that I already have built relationships with. So anyways, I feel that I've added to a sustainable lifestyle that meets both my personal and financial long-term goals and am gonna continue to be excited about where this journey takes me in years to come. So here's to a great 2024. May the records keep flowing.